Welcome to Friday's Inside Look by Brooks. Steve Brooks here. Hope everybody had a good week. I certainly had a good week last weekend. My sister came from Atlanta and my brother's family and my sister in Lakeland's family. We all gathered at my mom's house here in Central Florida and um, had just a great time getting together and celebrating her birthday and um, really enjoyed it. Good. It was good seeing both my sisters. And of course, my brother, who I see every day at work. Um, but it was great, you know, being around all their families and my mom, of course. So today, I wanted to talk about a, a really interesting article I read, and I'll just show it to you. Where are you most likely to be in a fatal DUI in Florida? Now, that's not a very fun topic to think about. Um, but it becomes relevant when the city they're talking about is real close to where you live. Um, so according to this article, Sarasota had the most DUI deaths per capita. That's it had over 12 deaths per 100,000 people. This is from DUI deaths. It's from people getting in their car and driving under the influence. So the city that came in second was, I believe, Lakeland, Florida, which um, they had 6.5 DUI deaths per 100,000 residents. And St. Pete, which is again in, in near us, it's 4.63 DUI deaths per 100,000 residents. This is one year. Um, Orlando was 4.06. And Tampa was 3.77. So we, we've all known about DUIs and the, the tragedies that can result from getting behind a, you know, a 5,000 pound vehicle when you're out of your mind and don't know what you're doing and your judgment's impaired. Uh, it becomes literally a, a driven missile. It, it is a deadly machine. So we've known this for years and years and years and years, and it continues to be a problem. I know when I was growing up, I grew up in a small town in central Florida. <clears throat> um, if we went out at night and, and celebrated too much, we might call a cab. Cabs were rare, and you might have to wait an hour for a cab to come. But Guys, in this day and time, if you have a smartphone and you have the Uber or Lyft app, you can literally use your phone and in two or three minutes, you've got a ride home, a very inexpensive ride. Or when you go out, you can have a designated driver. There is just absolutely no, it makes no sense at all to put yourself, I mean, the, the courts are taking this very seriously now. If, if you're in a DUI and you kill somebody, you're going to jail and you're going to jail for a long time. Why well, put yourself in that, in that situation where you might be exposed to jail time? And why put yourself in a situation where you might kill or maim the person in your car or the person in another car? It just, it, the practicalities are with our smartphones, a safe alternative is at literally at your fingertips. You know, the other um, thing about DUIs is um, they tend to be, they tend to be much more serious in the smaller counties. Um, so they're much more common, the DUI deaths in smaller counties. Hamilton County, Florida, I don't even know where that is, had 20, over 20 deaths per 100,000 residents. And that was in one year. And Dixie County had over 18 DUI deaths per 100,000 residents. That, that is just ridiculous. In the event that you were ever harmed, your, your family or friend is harmed by someone who has driven under the influence and, and hit you and harmed you or a family member. We have a DUI team here on uh, in Brooks Law Group. We we focused on the catastrophic injuries. Uh, we know how to 
um, frame a claim in a way that um, you can not only pursue compensatory damages, but also punitive damages. Um, that's something additional that DUIs afford a claimant who's been harmed by someone who drove under the influence. So we, we understand the law and we are proficient in making the law benefit you in the best we can. So if you or somebody you know has been harmed, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We, we handle, routinely handle DUI claims uh, from a personal injury perspective. Um, if you have any questions about anything I've talked about today, please feel free to reach out to me, Steve at brookslawgroup.com at steve at, at brookslawgroup.com or 1-800-LAW-3030. Uh, That's 1-800-LAW-3030. Okay, look forward to hearing from you guys. And um, with that, I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll see you next Friday for Friday's Inside Look by Brooks. Thanks for joining me today.